Brooke Drum with Printerbot.com, and we are going to do a bonus build video for the new Metal Plus. Now, one caveat is this is an early beta, so some of the next version of Metal uh, parts are going to change just slightly. All right, I'm going to shut up and start building. This is really informal. Uh, it's not intended to be the video you build from, but if you want to see how to build this thing, how it goes together, then uh, you might be interested in watching. So let's get going. I've got Jeremy here. He's going to help me. I think the first thing I'll do is put this, I'm going to put some of this aside. We won't need these side parts. I'll just put them down here until later because that's kind of the last thing and the top goes on almost last. That's the carriage. The base I don't need right now the very bottom. I'm going to concentrate on the base, or what I'm calling base A. There's a clamshell that goes together on that. This we might do next. So we're going to start with putting this together. Now, if, if you guys have a heated bed, um, this heated bed goes on with, uh, is it six millimeter? Six millimeter, four. Uh, so I'm using a 2.5 Allen. Is it four or six? Four. Uh, four six millimeter length. Six millimeter M3. Use the 2.5. I'm going to dial my clutch pretty low so I don't screw anything up. I know that there is one screw that I screwed up on my model. We'll, we'll run into that later. Okay, so we, these are the six millimeter m3 six millimeters check that off your list jeremy yep. now we've got a front and a back the front is really short the back is longer and on the back just uh worthy of note i've already scored this up here accidentally but there's only four so when you put these rails down these are the linear rails you need to be mindful of which side. It's I'm going to take this cork off. I don't know what we're doing there. So, yeah, I do need to be mindful of which side is which. So the front is, that's the back. The front is like that. So as I turn it over, two on the left. Okay, so I'm looking down and I'm standing at the back of this bed here. And we have two carts on one side, two on the other. So if that's the front, this is the front. There's one carriage here, two carriages here, so I've matched that up. We agreed? Okay. All right. So anyway, um, on, these, on these rails, there are two at the back. What size is, are these on the eights? Are these eights right here? That looks like eights. All right, so we got M3 eight millimeter screws, and we're gonna put one on the ends at the back. It's a good idea to leave these loose until you get everything put together. Who's that? Got the new T-shirt. Good. All right. Anyway, back to my train of thought. So the very end goes on and then we don't have the pin certs pin certs for the next two so we'll go to the fourth all right i'm going to just get all of those and put in a pile right in front of me here so i can zip down thanks man so i've got the back two on what i'll do is I think I'll just put the corners in and then I'll get everything situated. Corner. The front only is held on by two. We put a clock on the wall so you could see how long this takes me. What's fighting me there? That's interesting. 
oh, I must have the whole thing wrapped. That's why we want to leave this loose, because it needs to float a little bit until we make sure we get the carriages off and everything square. We don't want to over tighten it, because you may have to move things. See how far that's racking? Oh, there we go. Two clutch, it was biting pretty hard. Now we're talking. See, these rails need to stay loose because you can bend these rails slightly. It wouldn't take much. All right, now I've got the front secured with two, the back secured with four, and the four corners secured. And now I'm just going to zip down. Does that hit? Oh, it doesn't yeah. go that far. It doesn't though. go that far. Awesome. Yes, it does. Okay. Boom. What did we count? How many on these edges here? Thirteen. Thirteen. You said. Twenty-six total. Again, these are M three sixes or eights. Eights. M three eights. Thirteen aside. I've already put the carriages on here. You do not want to pop those carriages off, ever. Uh, the bearings can pop out, and actually they're pretty easy to get back in, but what a pain, you'll never find them. So even this number one on the clutch is gonna have this so tight that I could, oh wait, I already have carriages on. There might be a misalignment though when I get right down to it. Uh, we're considering shipping this bot overseas in a slightly smaller box by sending, of course, some would go without this heated bed, but we want to print it with the heated bed later. So I have this on, but some of these could go overseas just like this, and then you'd have to put in, what, 12 screws and attach the belt. Did you give me too many? Yeah, you didn't count these. No. Okay, great. All right, so I'm going to set that aside for now. 